The Prophet, peace and blessings be upon him, once prayed Fajr with his companions. And then he reaches his hand out Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam as if he's trying to pluck something. And he was smiling and then he retreated his hand Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And the companion said to the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, we saw you do something today that we've never seen you do before. It was as if you put your hand out and you were trying to pluck something and then you suddenly pulled your hand back. And he said Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Inni ra'aytu al-jannah. فَتَنَاوَلْتُ مِنْهَا عُنْقُودًا وَلَوْ أَخَذْتُهُ لَأَكَلْتُمْ مِنْهُ مَا بَقِيَةِ الدُّنْيَا He said Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam that I just saw paradise, I saw Jannah, and I saw a bunch of grapes. And if I was able to pluck those grapes, you would have eaten from those grapes until the end of the world. And then the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, then I saw hellfire, and so I pulled my hand back from it. Imagine if we could see paradise and hellfire right now in front of us. How different would we be? But it's not about seeing it, it's about perceiving it. The Prophet said, Al Jannatu Akrabu ila ahadikum min shiraki na'lihi wa naru mithlu dalik. That Jannah is nearer to you than your shoelaces, and so is the hellfire. Jannah is right in front of you, but if you don't spiritually step into it right now, then its gates might shut and never open for you again. The Prophet said, Lamma khalaqallahu al-jannah, qala li Jibreel, idhhab fanzur ilayha. In the very first moments that Allah created paradise, He called forth the angel Jibreel and He said to him, Go look at Jannah and see what I've prepared for its people. So Jibreel السلام, goes and he sees what Allah has prepared for its people, paradise in all of its glory, fresh for the very first time. And he comes back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and he says, Ay Rabbi wa izzatika la yasma'u biha ahadun illa dakhalaha. By your might, O oh my Lord, no one is going to hear about this place except that they're going to enter into it. Meaning when people know about how amazing this Jannah is, everyone's going to go to Jannah. But then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala filled the path to Jannah with all sorts of hardships. And he told Jibreel alayhi salam, go look at it again. And Jibreel alayhi salam comes back to Allah and he says, Oh my Lord, now I'm afraid that no one's going to enter into it. Then Allah said, go look at hellfire and see what I've prepared for its people. So Jibreel alayhi salam comes back to Allah and he says, by your might, oh my Lord, no one is going to hear about this place of hellfire and enter into it. Once they know it exists, they're going to do everything they can to stay away from it. Then Allah says, go look at it again. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala filled the path to hellfire with desires and ease. And Jibreel alayhi salam came back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and said, Oh my Lord, now I'm afraid that no one is going to be able to avoid it. Then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says to Jannah, Speak, O Jannah. And Jannah says, Qad aflaha al mu'minun. The believers have succeeded. And Jibreel alayhi salam and the angels respond to paradise and they say, Tuba laki manzilul muluk. Blessed are you, the home of kings. But these aren't worldly kings. Believers become kings and queens by being sincere servants of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And the Prophet ﷺ said that one time, Paradise and Hellfire actually had an argument. And Paradise said, Mali, la yadkhuluni illa du'afa'un nas wa saqatuhum. My Lord, why is it that it seems like only the weak and the downtrodden enter into me? And Hellfire said, My Lord, why is it that it's only al mutakabbirin wal mutajabbirin, the arrogant and the proud that enter into me? And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says to Jannah, Anti rahmati arhamu biki man asha'u min ibadi. You, O Jannah, are my mercy. I will show it to whomever I wish through you. And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says to Hellfire, And you, O Hellfire, are my punishment. I will punish through you whoever I wish. And now they both eagerly await. And when you make dua in regards to either of them, both of them respond. The Prophet ﷺ said, مَا مِنْ يَوْمْ إِلَّا وَالْجَنَّةُ وَالنَّارِ يَسْأَلَانَ That there is no day that passes except that paradise and hellfire ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala about their people. And Jannah says, Ya Rabb, قَدْ طَابَتْ تَمَرَتِي وَاتَّرَدَتْ أَنْهَارِي وَاشْتَقْتُ إِلَىٰ أَوْلِيَاءِ عَجِّلْ إِلَيَّ بِأَهْلِي O oh my Lord, my fruits are ripe. 
My rivers are flowing. I can't wait to see my friends. Bring my people quickly to me. And Hellfire says, Oh my Lord, my heat has become intense. My depth has gotten deeper and my flames are bursting with fury. So bring my people quickly to me. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us from the people of paradise. SubhanAllah, look at Allah's mercy. While both paradise and hellfire speak, both of them wish well for the believers. They both wish well for the righteous. The Prophet ﷺ said that no believer asks Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for paradise three times, except that paradise responds and says, Allahumma adkhilhu al-jannah. Oh Allah, admit him into paradise. And no believer seeks refuge from hellfire three times, except that hellfire says, Allahumma ajirhu min al-nah. Oh Allah, give him refuge from the fire. So they both want good for you, but Jannah is the one that's getting ready for you. And in general, Ka'b radiallahu ta'ala anhu said, every time Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala looks at Jannah, Allah says to it, طيبي لأهلك. Beautify yourself for your people. And it continues to increase in its beauty every single time until its people enter into it. And guess what? Jannah loves Ramadan too. It's its favorite season. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, إِذَا دَخَلَ رَمَضَانَ فُتِّحَتْ أَبْوَابُ الْجَنَّةِ وَغُلِّقَتْ أَبْوَابُ النَّارِ وَصُفِّدَتِ الشَّيَاطِينَ That when the month of Ramadan comes, the gates of paradise are flung open and the gates of hellfire are shut and the devils are put into chains. And there is not a night of this blessed month except that the gates of paradise are flung wider and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala beautifies your Jannah even more. And it can't wait to receive you. But how eager are you to receive it? The Prophet ﷺ said, Ya qawm, utlubu al-jannah tajahdakum, wahrubu min al-nari jahdakum. O people, seek paradise as much as you can and run away from hellfire as much as you can. فَإِنَّ الْجَنَّةَ لَا يَنَامُ طَالِبُهَا وَإِنَّ نَارَ لَا يَنَامُ هَارِبُهَا The seeker of paradise does not sleep, nor does the fleer of the fire. And he said, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, but the hereafter is surrounded with difficulties and this world is full of pleasures. But if you knew the pleasures of paradise, what pleasure or pain in this world would interfere with your pursuit of Jannah? Remember the Prophet Sallallahu reaching out to grab that bunch of grapes? Imagine if you were like Asya alayhi salam, when she looked up and she saw her entire palace in paradise. At that point, not even the most brutal torture of Fir'aun could steal her smile. But before you see it there, you have to feel it here and you have to strive for it with every fiber of your being. Ya ayyatuhan nafsul mutma'innah irji'i ila rabbiki radiyatan mardiyah فَادْخُلِي فِي عِبَادِي وَادْخُلِي جَنَّتِي